And we are back. I am so sorry. Wow. That took a minute. Yeah, a hot minute. The, I the know. computer decided the computer decided to kick us out. Um I was telling the people in the chat to refresh to do updates. What a great way to update. Just kick us out of a show. It's been on for an hour, didn't want to update, and now it wants to update. Right. I tried to get you to put on my cowboy hat, and you refused to do no, it. No, it was heavy, and I was stressed out. You can't put something heavy on my head when I'm stressed out. What? Well, you're stressed out about what? It's been a stressful I mean, couple we, of we, weeks. We were off the air long enough. I, I had time to take kids to the pool. <laughs> time to take the kids to the pool? <laughs> yeah. What kids in what pool? What yeah. pool? Uh, the one where you, you know, you take the toilet paper and you flush it on me. You take That's the kids, not a pool, it's a toilet. You take, you take the kids That's to the pool. That's a toilet. Yeah, I had plenty of time That's while we were there to do that. Well, hopefully it doesn't kick us out again. I mean, seriously, I am so sorry. I hate when that happens. Go Allow down. access. Go away, Windows security. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I was on a rant about my job. I guess it yes, might have. Yeah, yeah. The rant was about how stressful it's been because I have note cards. I have notebooks. I have a thing on the computer that's got all these tabs full of notes, 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 notes. We have to take, I've taken at least 78 courses in two weeks. 78 courses. Well, tomorrow will be 80. Really? I'm taking two you're more talking, tomorrow. You're talking to somebody that they they goes to work every day thinking someone's going to shoot at them. You know what? I'm not I'm talking gonna, about what? being shot at. Shit. I'm talking about me right now. I, yeah, I know you me. are. Me, me, me. I know me. you are. It's all about you. I know. Right now it is because it's my rant. Yeah. You want to rant about being shot at? Then you rant next. Uh, well, Don't interrupt nobody my hit turn. me. This is my turn. Yeah, I mean, are you going to take turns? Are you going to hit me in the hip? It's not all about jet. I got titanium. You're gonna have titanium from your yeah, yeah, toe hit, in a minute. Yeah, hit that motherfucker! Oh, can't say that word, can I? No. Hit that mother! Hit that titanium. Say mother trucker. That's just gonna bounce off. Anyway, so my job's been really hard, and I know I need to just move on from that subject now because we don't want it to be all about jet. But so then my kids end up getting COVID for a second time. Uh, three out of the four got COVID. And then I got it. So it's been, even though my, my visit wasn't a confirmed positive, I know I had it. I had all the symptoms they had, just not as bad as they, they seem to have it pretty bad, which is crazy because they're young, but whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. I'm I, grateful they're getting better. Well, they you're, you're saying you had it, but They had the om, Omicron. Omicron? Am I saying that right? Om, Omicron? Are you kidding me? You call my cowboy hat a sombrero because I, I, really I really don't Stop know. Stop talking about I don't you. Know what you're talking about. I'm talking about something else now. Move along. You're, you're Move talk, along. You're talking about. We're not talking about crowd. jet all the time. We're yeah. not. We're not doing that. Yeah, yeah, we are. So, anyways, they're getting better, but they still have the cough. And thank goodness it's the Omicron because it is a lot less potent than the other COVID so far. But uh, it's just it all the way around. It just stinks. So. I hope all of you are staying healthy. Well, just, just go ahead and say it. It sucks the big one. So, I'm going to get through my... I don't know if this thing is going to kick me out, but we're going to talk about this. So, did you guys hear about this Texas teacher, speaking of Rona? She put her child in the trunk of the car and got pulled over because... You know why she put her son in the trunk? Well, well probably because maybe your back seat was full. No, her back seat wasn't full. Her son had COVID. Oh. Yeah. A Texas mom was charged with endangering her child after officials discovered her 13-year-old son was inside the trunk of her car. So this is an older story because, well, like, why, why does somebody just January kick that 12th? Ass? I mean, seriously. Did you tell people to stop calling during the Kalisha show? You just <laughs> well, take a screenshot of your phone. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. took a screenshot. He was panicking to shut it off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he took a screenshot. Are you kidding me? You ding dong. You can't I, take a I'm screenshot if you want to. Oh, jeez. I'm pop the there guy. we go. So Sarah Beam, a 41-year-old teacher, she's a teacher who works at Cypress Fairbanks School District. She looks like the nicest lady. They said she was a nice lady. Yeah, but right. She stuck her son she in the trunk. She's kid in the trunk. <laughs> the hell she's the nice lady. Well, she's she thought psycho. she was doing the right thing by not getting, giving herself COVID. But oh, oh <laughs> there you go. Son uh, the she, she's freaking psycho. Oh, my Come gosh. On. I mean, seriously, 
Oh, my my dog has fleas, so I'll put some bitch in the trunk in 100 degree weather. Get the hell out of here. Who puts I mean, their dog I mean, in the trunk? Who for fleas? that shit? Well, no, who I mean, puts their kid in the treatment. trunk? You can't do a COVID treatment. Who in the hell puts your kid in the trunk? You can't do a COVID treatment and then put your kid in the car. Oh, Jesus. My you can dog. give your dog a flea I, treatment I, and then stick it in the car. You. What if somebody just punched Where's this your in the logic? Face? I'm just punching in the face and be done with it. So, do you guys hear? I'm sure you've noticed everywhere. Yeah, she was isolating from her child. Uh, yeah. Everywhere, inflation is insanity. Either you're buying stuff that's small. We talk about this almost every week we're on the air. That everything is just going up. This is the highest it's been in 40 years. Did you realize well, that? 40 well, years. Well, everything's well, you high. Mean like everything's going up? Or are you talking like penis prices? Oil? Penises. Prices. Oh. Stop. Oh, okay. Prices. They're making me shout. Oh, well, prices you know what, of right. food, prices of clothes, prices of gasoline, obviously, well, prices of airfare ticket, prices of everything well, is going well, up. Well, then we go out to a farm and follow a bunch of chickens around, and when they poop out an egg, pick it Why up. Why would I follow a chicken? Well, so you can po- you pick up three eggs. <laughs> I don't know where a chicken is. Whose chickens am I chasing? We live Listen, in the country. Just There's because we live everywhere. in a small town doesn't make. Chicken chasing, okay. It's oh, no, not oh, no. okay. They poop out eggs go around every day. Ch- chasing every, every day an egg slides out there. Oh, my ass. gosh. So That's prices tough. rose Look at the up. fastest pace in four decades in December, increasing 7% over the same period a year ago. And cementing 2021 as a year marked by soaring inflation by the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. So prices also were up five percent in December. Point five percent, excuse me, in December compared with the month before. So it's just like a little. They do it a little at a time, which is smart because they think we're not going to notice. But I notice. Well, no shit. I notice. A lot of people notice. Well, so, really? in actual basis, twenty twenty one still saw the fastest price inflation since the early eighties. Broken supply chains collided with high consumer demand for used cars and construction materials. All that. So people who are middle, I, I'm one that follows up on Dominium um, Facebook page. And they're going crazy because they went halfway through their barn dominiums. They built it and they're like, we can't afford to build our barn dominium because everything's gone up. I feel oh, so bad for them. There you go. The barn dominiums that used to be I mean, you, thousands you, cheaper is now well, you, thousands you, you more. You will let me like get controversial into, into politics. No, so we're not going to talk about politics. All, all I'm okay, saying show. is... You know, I got a truck outside that I'm going to keep forever that uh, they probably give me double what it's worth just because, you know, I keep good care of my vehicles. That's true, Shocker. He is a cop. He does have everything comped. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. He does. No, no, no. Please. Oh, okay. It just shut off. I was like, don't restart again. Oh, my God. I'm not in the mood. I know. That's what it felt like. So, have you guys heard? I saw this on TikTok. Let me get this out here. Oh, if it's on TikTok, I'm sure it's true. No, it is true. Just because it's on TikTok doesn't mean it's not true. Oh, my God. It doesn't mean here it we is. Go. Yeah, right. He's closed minded. Let me tell you about Jet. He's so closed minded. He thinks everybody's the same. He thinks that everybody's out to get everybody. He has such a closed mind. He takes this cop. Oh, can you imagine being friends with a cop? Well, <laughs> every conversation well, you have is so copicized. That is a word, by the way. Copicized? It's copicized. Everything I say, everything I do, he's a weirdo, he's a murderer. Stop. Well, Stop being a well, cop all the time. Most people are. No, they're not. Not most people are murderers. Uh, well, not murderers, but, you know, you think they're everybody, up to something. They're <laughs> see? Up to something. Here we go. Don't get him started. Oh, Wait, I got him started. It's yeah. my fault. So a sheriff's office in Mississippi is investigating after a woman received a startling message on her phone. Now, I saw this originally on TikTok, and I thought it was just a hoax. I didn't think anything of it. But it said, my phone made this alert that I've never heard before, and I looked at it, and it said, unknown devices detected tracking your movement for a while. Can you imagine getting something on your phone that says, I'm tracking your movement for a while? I would would stand still and tell it away. You do know how many guns I carry with me all the time. Okay, well, gun, you can't shoot people through your phone. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, no. so, I mean if go. you really want to follow me around, let's do it. They're not following you. They're just, uh... I'm just saying, let's do it. They're just, uh, tracking your movement. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just that attractive of a guy. So... Especially you, with my sombrero. No, <laughs> I'm glad you called it that, because that's what it is. That's bullshit. Norsworthy said he disconnected the tracking device and called the sheriff's department, which sent deputies out to help, but they never found the Apple 
AirTag, that's what it's called, an Apple AirTag tracking the device they expected to find. The Sheriff's Department helped the search, said my neighbor helped me search, my husband, I mean, we all searched all over the place. And it really made me nervous because you hear about trafficking and things like that, so I immediately was like, oh my gosh, are they watching me? Well, they watching my, were they watching my children? So they called Apple support, confirmed an AirTag was placed on her property. Compa composite. <laughs> yes. Yes. Composite is a word. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad you're listening because that is a word and I need you to back me up on that. So they called Apple support, confirmed it was an AirTag. I mean, what do you do with that after that? Okay, it's an AirTag. We confirmed it. Now what do you do? Well, I, apparently you just call Apple and... Oh, well, shit, yeah, thing. just call them up. I don't know. See, uh, that's so a thought. Samsung phone. does not have these some, issues. Uh, some nice lady Samsung will answer the phone does not and say, how can I help you? Or I'll send me some bullshit. No. Uh, push about five different no. days. Are you, are you speaking Spanish? No, speaking no. English? You're speaking like, Egyptian? My supervisor I mean, thinks you're a spy. <gasps> oh, my God. Don't get me started. Yeah, well, well, you got yourself nobody. started. You got yourself started. Yeah, don't call nobody. I'm going to call Ghostbusters. So, who watches Yellowstone? Oh, if you don't, then obviously you don't have a penis or there's something wrong with you. Well, I don't have one. So. Well, you still watch Yellowstone, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, I don't like Westerns. And I know I've said this about uh, Yellowstone because we talk about it on the show all the time. I love it. I'm in love with it. So. Uh, but you know what? It's so good. I can interrupt you. Oh, the, no. A, a, a series that's, that's just as good is called Justified. With Raylan Gibbons, it's coming back on. Watch Justified. I don't Anyone know what he's about. Watch Justified. He's the only one half the time that knows what he's talking about. Damn straight I know yeah. what I'm talking about. I'm glad you do. Paramount's Network's Yellowstone is easy as the biggest hit on cable TV. Yeah. So the show season four finale, which I just watched. Oh, I just watched it like four days ago and I about died. I was like, no, there's only ten episodes in this season. Why? Yeah. That's so rude. Who got you started on that? You Please, did. I, I need, uh, yes, so I the do. show season finale yes, by Kevin Costner as a powerful rancher was watched by 9.3 million viewers on January 2nd, the biggest cable telecast since 2017. That's Damn amazing. Straight. It's yeah. also up substantially from the 5.2 million viewers who tuned in for the season three finale the day it aired. So beyond the ratings, other data shows that Yellowstone has grown an audience with each season. Yeah. So, good for you guys. That's awesome. I, it's intense. Kevin, Kevin Costner is awesome. The he only is thing, awesome. The only thing I could say, and Kevin... He's I, intense. I, I, he's I, intense. I, I hope you're listening, Kevin, <laughs> yeah. because he's a, he's a big <laughs> Cal State Fullerton baseball fan. And he's always in Omaha at the College World Series. Root for Nebraska sometime. Jesus Christ, Kevin. I mean, come on. All right. So, so jump, on, jump on the home page. team. I don't know what's gotten into you. Be able to take it down a notch. Wow. What is wow? Now, now, see, 1883. I've only watched like an episode, just one, and I can't get my head around it. I, it's so oh, so shocked. dreading. It's so dreadful. Like, who can watch this? Like, please tell me it gets better, and then maybe I'll keep watching <laughs> it. Well, but I can't. Speaking of Yellowstone, let me tell you some stuff that's about to go up. Beef is one of them. Beef is about to go up, and it's really? already up. Beef. Beef, you know, like hamburger, yeah. steak, it's all going up. Well, no kidding, go to the grocery store. I know, but these are the, like, this is the worst. This is the worst of everything that's going up. It's going to be higher. So the Consumer oh, Price shit. Index saw a year-over-year -year increase of 7.0% 7, 7 in December. That's the highest rate since June 1982. So the increase of the index is for shelter and used cars and trucks were the largest con contributors to the seasonally adjusted item increase. And while the index has seen the highest year-over-year -year increase in about four decades, some items in particular are selling for much higher prices than they were a year ago. So I'm going to tell you, the price of gas has increased year-over-year -year by 49.6%. 49.6%. Oh, no shit. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, the good thing is we live in beef country, so, you know, we can, like, you know, the neighbor's cow ends up met, gone. <laughs> ends uh, up well, missed, well, gone. You know, <laughs> well, I don't know. Just wandered off. 
Beef and veal declined by 2% in December, although prices for this category are actually higher in December compared to a year earlier. So, there could be a few different reasons for higher gas prices. For one, there could be higher demand along with supply constraints. Supply chain and labor shortages have impacted future deliveries, or excuse me, furniture deliveries, like couches, uh, foam, oh, there's couches. a foam shortage. There's a foam shortage right now. You can't make, what are you going to make a couch out of? What are those beads that kids play with that have water? The Zarby? No. Oh, I can't think of the name of them. Like, what are we going to fill it? What in the hell there's are you foam, talking about? There's foam. Foam that's in your furniture. It's just, there's a shortage. Uh, oh, the foam? Yeah. Yeah, where well, you pop it and it goes pop, 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 pop. No. Foam oh, that oh, goes like, in furniture. Yeah. It's cushiony, yeah, foamy you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, furniture and bedding is one group that's been seeing prices soar from a year ago with a year-over-year -year increase of 13.8%. Ooh. Yeah. I better keep my... So, you better start hitting up them thrift stores. No, I better keep my goddamn couch because it's a nice What's one. What's that G word? Okay. So, although the most recent available data for December 2021, the highest prices for vehicles will probably be seen this year. So, if you want to buy a vehicle, do it now. Do it right now. You use less gas this year, Shocker? Well, you only have two Wait, miles wait a minute. The highest Wonderful. price, that means that the dealership is going to yeah. be forever. No, now, it means the highest is going to be this year, but it hasn't started yet. So the highest right. of this year hasn't happened yet. Right. But if you're going to trade in a vehicle, then you're probably they're, they're going to give you way more it. than it's worth. No, it's probably not going to be worth it. Not for a used car when you're trading it in, huh? So you're talking bad about my truck? They have to make up for what they're losing. Oh. That stuff's going to go down. Our value of our cars is going to go down while theirs goes up. Oh, well, there you That's go. That's how it happens. Well, then I'll, I'll just keep anyway. my truck. And I know you're listening, Casey. Hopefully a tree don't fall on my truck like it did yours. That's rude. <laughs> did, you see, did you see Casey's truck? No, I didn't see oh, it. I yeah. about it. Yeah, you yeah, had a big tree fall on it. Shocker. See, I use less gas because I work from home now. But let me just tell you, there. I was so excited to start my work from home job. <laughs> And it's not all what it's cracked up to be. Could you not choke on the air, please? That'd be great. <laughs> Take that somewhere else. With Jeff. <coughs> He's choking. We're just going to ignore his choking. You're killing me. <laughs> but I work from home, and I'm like, I'm so excited to work from home. I can wake up, and I can... No, they want to see me on video cam every day. And for, cause so I'm you have to wear a shirt. Yeah, that's, that's lame. That's bullshit. And for two... Yeah. I, I don't have to warm up my car, which is nice. So that's a good one. Another good thing is... Is... That I can, I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go warm up my car, come back in when it's freezing, go back out to my car, drive to work. So I'm saving a lot of gas. Some, sometimes a very nice person will bring but, a whopper. Yeah, that was very nice of you. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank though. you. Yeah. It was so good. Did you eat the whole thing? I did. Okay. Well, you know me, I trim off most of the bread. I know. I know how you are. I can't eat that much. So well, well, for yeah. one and two, you took the pickles off too, didn't you? No, I, I love pickles on my burgers. Oh, okay. So, anyways, I. There is an upside, and there is a downside to working from home. The downside is, is I walk in my kitchen where is my office, and I see it, and I want to freak out. I want to take it and throw it out the window. Because when I clock out, out off work, I want to. I just want to be done. But no, I have to, like, see it. Well, I mean, can't you get, like, a glass of water but full of vodka, and they're seeing it on TV, and it's like... I'm just drinking a glass of water. No, I won't be able to focus. I can't even focus uh, sober. Well, then you're different than me. Because, yeah. you know, if I'm on, like, Zoom or whatever, I'm drinking a glass of water. But it's no, but really, there is that commercial. It's really full of vodka. Did you hear that commercial? No. Have you guys heard this? It's on Pandora. I don't know if it's anywhere else. It goes something about, oh, I'm in a meeting. And they're like, are you muted? It's like, do you hate when you go into meetings and you're muted? It's not verbatim, so don't. But, um, and then it goes... Oh, she's drinking her beer. She goes, this isn't a beer. It's alcohol free. And then it's like, you have to be 21 years older to buy. It does contain alcohol. I'm like, well, does it or doesn't it? <laughs> she's on a Zoom meeting. Just for drink the shit. Make up your <laughs> mind. Come on. You want me to work at home? I'm drinking bourbon. That's all there is to it. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. They, they kind of frown on that, you know, when us police officers are out there and we got... You, <laughs> you know, got a beer in your hand? Oh, well, no, a glass of beer. Are you drunk, officer? Glass of beer. I'll shoot uh, you uh, where if I can find yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, the sheriff. <laughs> There's two the of you. He frowns on that shit. That's bull crap. Yeah, I mean, They're getting seriously. off the strict. I mean, you can't have any fun. Yeah, I mean, it's like, come on. I mean, what's wrong with one glass of bourbon? I don't know, but... It's a good care. thing you can't drink if you're a doctor or a surgeon. 
Because our next story is crazy enough without adding alcohol to the situation. Really? A UK surgeon who autographed his initials onto patients' livers. When he went Hell yeah! <laughs> that is cool as shit! I mean, did he tattoo it on there? I mean, How if you put Ian Salmonhalder's initials on mine, that would be Oh, crazy. no, he would start with the Ian. Uh, are you kidding Seriously. me? Seriously. He admitted this. No, I mean, the guy, he, he, he actually tattooed his initials. Yes, initial. he tattooed his initials on the... He's like, God, my patient, my patient. That, that's the badass. That's no, badass. It's, it's like he autographed their body. That's badass. I mean, it seriously is. As long as he didn't leave any damage, just autograph it. Who cares? Yeah, I mean... We, uh, don't hurt nothing. <laughs> For as many surgeries you have, I'm surprised they haven't autographed a, a tattooed a penis on your <laughs> you know, that was funny. Uh, well, you know, before the, the hip surgery, the lady called me and went through all the broken bones I've had all my life. And she, you know, she said, well, I'm not going to ask you the last question. And I'm like, what's that? And she goes, well, do you have arthritis? And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I've had like six surgeries. <laughs> and I broke, you know, how many ribs in my nose three times? Yeah, I got arthritis, lady. But <laughs> she had to ask. Yeah, you have to ask the question. Oh, hell yeah. It's a, I mean, if they would have just asked, are you going to tattoo my liver before you saw me back up? <laughs> I'd say, hell yeah. Answer. Go ahead. Put your name well, on you that. Pleaded bad to boy. guilty. Uh, pleaded hell to yeah. guilty. Who taught me how to talk? <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> there's using an argon beam machine during surgery to brand his initials on two transports planted livers so one in february 2013 another in august 2013 i want to know how they knew his initials were on their liver did they have like a scan you're like what is you're that seriously mm-hmm. you're seriously looking at me like i would know the answer to that <laughs> well oh, i didn't think about oh, that oh yeah yeah we, we got a, we got a call from some alien that you know zapped in and said you know what that's some bitch he's autographing people's livers like, how did they know? They must have some good technology to be able to zoom in on your liver and say, Hey, that's that surgeon's initials. <laughs> Who did your surgery? I, to me, to me that, is just, that is just badass. Go ahead. He, he, ultrasound? He, he, you think he, it's, he, I don't think ultrasound, you can see that good. Ultrasound's pretty blurry. They even have 3D ultrasound <laughs> that's hard to see fine details. I don't know. I think it's cool. Go ahead. Sign so they were 1.6 inches big, these initials. 1.6 inches. Uh, really? You keep doing that with your fingers <laughs> like you know, I mean, seriously? I'm assuming that's I mean, I mean really, do you know what 1.6 inches is with your fingers? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was trying to give you a visual. You're killing me. You're killing me. Uh, yeah. MRI, I maybe. I didn't know you seen Casey naked. Oh! Oh, snap! <laughs> yeah, there you go. 1.6, Oh, my Casey. gosh. Speaking of that, he was behind me today. He, he you know, I thought it was because I told... I told Jet, that this other sheriff was behind me and made me pass her. She followed me for two blocks, and then I saw you come, me coming from the liquor store, and I saw you, Casey, and you pulled in behind me, and I'm going, uh oh, yeah. <laughs> not again, Uh-oh. not yeah, again. There, there you go. It's all me across town, dude. <laughs> yeah. dude. And now, Casey, she's already given it. She put it out to the world. One point six. You're done. <laughs> I have. I you're can show done. you the measurements with my fingers. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> So the act was born out of a degree of professional arrogance, is what the medical tribunal said. So I don't know if that's arrogance so much as pride. He was happy. He's like, I put that in there. That I, was my hell yeah. Damn. I did the same thing. What do you think Tupac would have done? He'd have done the same damn thing. Okay, so he has two convictions for common assault. He got assault for tattooing. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He got assault. How, how are you going to assault for that? <laughs> All you're doing is just like, you know, graffiti. It's just doing something I mean, when seriously. someone doesn't know you're doing it. doesn't make it a soul. Yeah, that's some bullshit right, right. there. Right. Yeah. For which he was fined $13,619. Oh, uh, well, that's and really... And to community service. Well, there you go. Per, per... Oh, is that Casey? <laughs> 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 oh, man. $13,000 for... Oh, uh, $13,000 for, 13, for just 13, putting your arm on a liver? Yeah. I say the hell yeah. Tell him to go away. Yeah. Okay, so have you heard about these? They're Campbell soup candles. Campbell soup candles. These are pretty cool. They launched candles that are scented like chicken noodle soup and tomato soup with grilled oh, cheese. I, I, I have to tell all the listeners, you know, as we talk, our friend Casey, another, the, another deputy, he just 
informed me via text. <laughs> it's not one point six. Wasn't me. That his, 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 his is two. Oh, he has. Who okay. said he said his is two? Well, who was behind me? Who's sheriff? Was it? Well, how in the hell would I know? I was, thought it was Casey. Oh, he has COVID. I'm so oh, sorry about well, COVID. No, that you missed a point. It's I, not you're one, thinking it's about the. Will you leave two. the inches alone? He said two. He, he said, said two, two inches. inches of That's what he says right here. Okay, two but inches. I'm talking about him having COVID. Oh, well, I'm pretty yeah. sad about that. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Well, well we hope you get he, better soon. He, yeah, in case we hope you get better. Take vitamin okay. D and zinc. It helped me when I, I had it. I felt like uh, something was sitting on my chest and I couldn't take a deep breath. It pinched every time I tried. Oh, hey, his cousin hit on me. Oh, he's a singer, by the way. Oh, he hit on you? His cousin did. Oh, okay. His but anyways, did, yeah. anyways. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, vitamin D3 and zinc work so good together with COVID. I don't know why, I don't know how, but don't question it because it works. So try that. It's not going to make your penis grow past two, so don't even think about that. It okay. might get you back so to work. So let's get on to the Campbell Soup Company, what they brought out these candles. Did you hear what I said about this smell like chicken noodle soup made of soup? No, I didn't cheese? hear what you said. Are you listening right now, though? I, I'm listening did, right what now. What did I say? Repeat it back. You said, are you listening to me about the Campbell's Soup Company? What, what flavors? Uh, uh, chicken. And? Chicken noodle. And? Seriously. Uh, <laughs> you are listening. Seriously. I knew it. Knew it. Busted. I, I, that's okay. Abuse. Zip your lip for a minute. Let me tell you. Chicken noodle soup, tomato soup with grilled cheese. That's what these candles smell like. That's, so that's what, what mama used to make. That's, you're just going to make somebody hungry. And that's Mama actually used to take that when you're sick. Listen, uh, these are candles. Soup. These are candles that you light in your house. That's some bullshit right there. So you're there. not listening What's wrong with chicken noodle soup? What I call all the you if you're not listening? Soup. Well, this is what I deal with all the time. I'm trying to talk, and he's got to talk over me. Well, I don't get it. I'm trying to tell you. It's a perfect marketing strategy if you think about it. You don't like candles. If you like had that. candles that smelled like a Burger King Whopper and you took it home and lit it, you'd want to go buy a Burger King Whopper. Oh, or if I bought a candle that smelled like... No, no, we're not yeah, saying that. There you go. No, I'd, I'd, no, I'd, I'd no, want to go no. to like a brothel. Uh, I mean, seriously. He is rejected. I wish I had an eject button. I mean... I'd eject you right out of here. I don't get it. So you can buy these online. <clears throat> Camp.com forward slash Campbell's. And you can buy them at camp stores in New York. Oh, New Jersey, shit, Dallas, I and can't Connecticut. Wait. They're $24, not a bad price. I don't think I'm What do you mean, not a bad price? $24 for, is not a bad price to make you hungry. What's wrong with a grilled cheese sandwich and some tomato soup? This like, is a I candle. Mean, that's, like, that's like $5. This is a candle. Are you listening to anything <laughs> I'm saying? I'm listening to everything you're saying. It's um, a perfect night. Why would you want to smell that shit? And just not have a grilled cheese sandwich <laughs> and tomato soup. Maybe like you like mommy. to be hungry. Like mommy used to make. With mommy? Yeah. Did you say mommy? Yeah, I said mommy. I mean that, that I mean that's a five dollar uh, deal. Thanks, right there. Shocker. So both candles are also in containers designed after Campbell's stock stackable snowman soup cans, which made their debut in twenty twenty and are modeled after the brand Snow Buddy Snowman commercial. I've never heard of that. Oh, with their little cans that look like snowmen. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm so you're, cute. Act, you're acting like you just looked at a little midget I'm, baby I'm going to have to get one. Oh, you know yeah. what? I'm going to get a candle, and we're going to light it on the show for the first the time. We're going to you will light burn the whole oh, time around here, and I'm going to tell you about it. No. So if anybody wants to, like, send us free candles, no. and we can, like, rate that no. on air, we will do that. We're, we're, we'll do that with anything. We're wearing I mean, cow, like, we're, we're cowboy hats and drinking margaritas on this show. You can send us a bucket of cow pee and ask us a taste of no. here. We're doing it. No, the hell we are. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. That was a little much. Too far, too far. Okay, so I saved this one for last because... This is insanity to me. No. No. I have two more. Because I'm afraid this thing's going to kick us out of here. Well oh, afraid of. shit. I'm going to talk us so damn fast. Okay. Sorry about talking so fast. I just don't know when it's going to kick us out again. So a machete, a crystal met. Well, speaking of, speaking of, let's see. What did I was get with that one? What to do. What's a machete and meth have in common? A machete and what? Uh, what's a machete and meth have in common? They both kill you. Well, that's one thing. But okay, what do they then, really have? Well, what's yeah, better yeah, than that? What's yeah. bigger? Way? Like, that's like 20%. But, like, what's the big Because you're, if, you're, if you're in the meth... Big picture, uh, Jack. If you're in the methamphetamine game and you're coming across no. the border, a 
cartels will occasionally chop your friggin' head off with a oh machete. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, occasionally. What is wrong with you? No. Uh, well, the, the answer you didn't get it, by the way. Uh, well, the answer is this next article that I have. That's well, the I didn't answer. get it. That's the answer. Is this uh, next article I'm going to share with you? They're right, and I'm wrong. No, I'm right, and you're wrong. No, I'm just saying they both kill you. I didn't say they didn't. I'm telling you what the answer was. The answer is my next story. That's oh, the answer. Then please go on. Thank you. A machete, a crystal meth burrito, and an other item spotted by TSA. Can you imagine? <laughs> a meth burrito? Yeah. We'll call it a morito. Oh, yeah. A morito. Yeah. So, this is just one lesson that you guys can learn from transportation. Well, burritos security. give you diarrhea to start with. This is from with. the Washington Post. There. Man, you, you got like nuclear you're diarrhea. You're going to have a confused stomach. I mean, you're, you're coming, you're coming across confused. the border with nuclear diarrhea. Is that what you're saying? I don't know who Anon is. I don't know if it kicked you out. Oh, that must be. Did you get kicked out, shocker? It says, Jet needs to make his own damn grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. Yeah. Make your own damn grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> yeah. So, this is some unusual items, you know, that they found during checkout. I love to talk about these things. Because you're just like, why are you bringing this through? You know you're going to get caught. And you still try. Yeah. No shit. So, number four. Like, this one happened in March at Regan National Airport outside Washington. TSA officials described it as a well-worn, heavy-duty, wooden handle machete. Say that five times. And that wasn't the only item officers found in Traveler's Carry-On. I mean, this was in their Was that that box. naked guy? That no, got crazy? no, but that's funny, because that's what I thought of. <laughs> there was ammunition and a canister of flammable butane fuel. Can't bring that on the plane. I'm, not normal, I guess I'm not normally. Not normally. I'm weird, because I always read the TSA rules, because no, I don't want to get searched. I, no, I don't I, need to be cavity searched or please, kind of searched. I, please, I want you to say that again out loud on the air. You're weird. I am weird. I'll do that. You. Oh, we get that all day long. No one say, hey, we you got thank any you. of those? We're drinking Caymans. Caymans, if you want to sponsor Kayla's show. Yeah, thank you. I'm just <laughs> saying. That. Oh, Kayla's is always right and Jet's always wrong. Woo! Jet is never wrong. Yes. No. Love that guy. No. So, as a reminder, knives of any type, including machetes, are not permitted to be carried on the airplane, okay? So, there is a video. I'll have to post this after the show of other unusual finds. Because... A meth burrito. I just can't believe it. But in October, TSA officials said they had caught 4,495 firearms in security checkpoints, the most in the agency's 20-year history. Thank you. You even opened it. Thanks. Mm Mm-hmm. Run me some Caymans. Um, That's translated to roughly 11 guns for every 1 million passengers. Well, there you go. That, that ain't bad. That's not bad average. No, no, of course. Yeah, hell no. During the previous annual record for gun seizures in 2019 was 4,423 firearms at a rate of five per million passengers screened. Yeah. So. Well, I can't wait. I'm going to post this video after the show about this. Well, uh, please do. Okay, so this is my last subject because this one is a trip to me. This one just like. <laughs> I always save the best story for last. Whoa. You guys have to save is that, the Is that like squirtles doing backflips off of, you know, the swing set? Really? Did I look like a squirtle? What's a squirtle? What's a squirrel? I got one. You said right squirrel. Over there. Squirrel. My older right daughter there. used to say squirtle when she was little. Really? Yeah, and on my second yeah. day training, when I said her, she said her daughter said squirtle. That, that would be squirtle. the one I got mounted you over said there squirtle. on the birthday because the dumbass was in my tree making my dog bark. So That's there he is, mounted, yes, mounted on a log. So this is a first ever pig to human heart transplant. Pig to human. Oh, I know they've been working on that. You know they're close. They really are. That's that's. that's well, listen, this is like crazy ours. though. This Maryland man lived for three days with a pig heart beating inside of his body. Well, I mean, really? Yeah. They say pig hearts are really close to human hearts, so it really? should be close. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that's learning. A big deal. Yeah, I still. I mean, I mean, well, three days. I mean, I mean, if, if he, I mean, shit. If he woke up eating corn, then you know what the hell. I mean, honestly, if, if your heart's that bad and you're like, well, I'm gonna die anyway, I might just put a pig heart in me and see what happens. I think I'd take that chance. Really? I didn't really know. Really? How about how about just give me a whole, whole, whole bunch of goddamn morphine? Let me go to sleep. Okay, you know no, what? Stop. I don't. I don't need that fucking pig heart. Keyword. I, I don't need a pig heart. You don't need a pig heart? I mean, you no. need a heart. Everybody <laughs> needs a heart. heart. Well, yeah. There you go. 
Okay, so, I don't know. In the nine-hour surgery, this is what it took. Nine hours. Nine hours. Doctors and he, and he lives three. No, he's... No. Oh, well, he this article days. that was by USA Today, he, he this was written on his third day of living. Okay. With this heart in his chest. Okay. I'm assuming he's still alive. I don't know. I hope he is. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, that is pretty incredible. In the nine-hour surgery, doctors replaced his heart with one from a one-year-old, 240-pound pig gene, edited and bred for this purpose. He was bred to give this guy a heart. Who bred him? You know, it doesn't matter who bred him. Well, who that's, that's, that's kind of the questions I have. Well, you know, I mean, was it like a hillbilly? Go color in your coloring book. Was somewhere. it like a hillbilly? You want to be on that level of the conversation, go color in your coloring book in the corner. <laughs> I, I just need to know. I mean, was it a hillbilly? Was it a, you know, I mean, seriously. And so scientists have worked for decades to figure out how to save human lives with animal organs. More than 100,000 people sit on organ transplant wait lists. Oh, PETA's going to be on my... PETA's going to be emailing me at kaylishashow at gmail.com. Obviously, I don't care if they email me, but they're going to email me about that. Don't you start talking about things that we support. We don't support animals being used in that way. Go on, PETA. Let me have it. All I have to say is, Mm. you know what? It's sad that that many people are waiting on the waiting list. So just like you said, pigs have similar organs to humans. If those organs could be used to transplants, waiting would end. People would never be considered candidates for transplants again. So it would just be breed this animals for transplants. I mean, a lot of people, but what does that happen for vegetarians? Is that the same thing? You're not eating it. You're not eating the heart. But you're putting an organ from an animal in your body. So I guess they'd have the right to say, no, I don't want that. They would. You know, you know and while we're on this subject, and I'm going to get serious. Uh, oh, no. It's very unfortunate that, you know, two officers were killed in New York this weekend. Yes, rest in peace. And the second one that just died uh, donated uh, his organs yep. and, and saved some lives. And I really want to give him, a, his family, uh, just a shout out and say, uh, you had an awesome son. They had an awesome son. I mean, he gave his life for what he believed in, and he saved some other lives. And that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Right. I agree. In September, Montgomery moved the work forward by becoming the first to transplant a pig kidney into a person. But in that case, as a subsequent surgery in December, the person had been declared brain dead. That's so sad. They kept the body functioning via machine for more than two days each time, showing that the human immune system would not immediately reject a kidney. But I don't know what that means, because what does immediately mean? When it comes to an organ transplant, what does immediately mean? Our bodies could reject something an hour later. It could reject something a day later, a month later. I mean, I don't know. It's it's risky. But if you're going to die, it's worth the risk, for sure. Right. And And I'm all for this. I think it's kind of sad to, to, in a way, you know, I'm like up in the air because it's like you're, I know I'm a meat eater, and this is me saying this, but... You're, you're breeding an animal to give me an organ I need. So you're going to kill that animal to give me their organ. That's kind of sad. That is kind of sad. It is. And Dude, you, what do you guys you know, think? Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's a, a moral thing? I want to know what you think. Right. And if you're not in the chat, that's fine. You can email me thekalishashow at gmail dot com. The Kalicious, I talk fast. Show at gmail dot com. Don't right. put the I talk fast in there though. All right. Uh, because and, you know, and now that we're talking, we, you and I talked earlier. I don't know. Uh, you're I, I lost a very dear friend this morning to COVID, and uh, I just want to get a shout out to his family, Rick, and uh, I'm so sorry that you know that that uh, he lost his wife. They were they were very young. They were mm-hmm. good people. Yeah. And. Uh, I don't know. If she, I, I, I don't know if she donated any organs or anything, but uh, I've been hurting all day for him, and I know he's he's hurting bad. And so I'm giving a shout out to Rick. Okay. It's still. I think we have five minutes left. But Benning is relatively healthy most of his life. This is just one experience. Has been having severe chest pains in October. He went to the University of Maryland Medical Center. Excuse me, with severe fatigue and shortness of breath, he couldn't climb three steps. So, two months of trying to save his own heart, it didn't work. A handful of transplant programs, either formally or informally, rejected him from a heart transplant. He was deemed ineligible 
for an artificial heart pump because of uncontrollable uncontrollable arrhythmia. So about, <clears throat> excuse me, see this COVID has still got me all bleh. But about 3,000 Americans a year are left to get a new heart. 20% of those who make it to the wait list die waiting to get a new heart. So this could be huge. Could, could you imagine somebody getting my heart? No. <laughs> no. That thing is a black rock. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so like, cold. Really? Because you know really my not. philosophy. Really... If nobody got <laughs> shot, then we didn't have a very good day. So I was trying to read through all of this, and I end up getting caught up in something. But it seems like everything with him went really, really good. And That's good. I, I just think it's going to be huge. Yeah. I mean, it's still it, an it, experimental If they can get though, big though. hearts to work in humans, that's huge. I mean, that's yeah. really huge. And there's lots of other exper experiments done with pigs. Uh, organs. You mean, and like, you mean like bacon? I mean like fine bacon? No, but I am craving bacon and you know me, I don't eat bacon, so it's really strange. I, got to, I buy you some turkey bacon the other day. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, I know. So, you know, I think it's crazy because how big is our heart? And you think about how big these pigs are, like 250 pounds that they're taking their organs. How does their heart work if their heart's bigger? That's my question. Because if their heart's bigger... That means things are, are they going to pump at the same rate? Are they, I mean, do pigs' heart pump as much as ours or less than ours? I mean. Uh, are you asking me a question? Uh, a person that can't even turn on a computer? <laughs> say, uh, no, serious, no, no, I'm just putting this out there. Seriously. If someone weighs 100 pounds and they're getting a, a heart from a 250-pound pig, is that still going to work well, for I them? Oh, well, I think it's going to make them a badass. <laughs> oh, here the we go. The heart's going to be pumping yeah, here. Yeah. It's pumping out of their chest. Here we go. That's right. They may have been a sissy before, but after that, they're a badass. I think they'll have too much oxygen in their veins. <laughs> I'm just all saying. That I'm just saying. Oh, well, my, my blood pressure has been really high since I started this job. All I'm looking forward to is that part to be done. So I'm my blood pressure can go back to normal. Oh, yeah. But at least you're not putting it on me. Well, I mean, you're not helping. <laughs> With that sombrero, I mean, like it's sombrero. Like, it's a cowboy hat. It's blocking it's a the cowboy view. Hat. I don't want to that cowboy hat. Nothing. It's got like oh, eight shit. creases in all, all the spots. It's, Don it's Don a sombrero. Slip. It's my Don Ami slip. I love Don Ami. I'm gonna take a picture of this it's thing. Don and I'm gonna Amis. post it on Facebook. I'm telling you. As soon as we're done with the show, I, I love that man. It's, well, good it's, for you. It's my Don Ami slip. Good for you. I, are you yeah. done saying it? Because we yeah. heard it so yeah. many times in the last five minutes. Yeah. Uh, okay. You, you, all right, you can take all the pictures you want. Next week we should be back. It's hard with this job because I don't even want to leave my house. I'm so frustrated. I don't want to do anything anymore. This job's got me so flustered. But this has been really good therapy coming back to the show. So I'm hoping next week we'll be back again and we won't get kicked out because it already did the updates. Well, no kidding. I'll turn it on a little really, earlier. Every time we do this, it wants to, like, do something. I'm not a computer guy. I, I just sit here and, you know, hang out. Yeah, he hangs out. That's all he does. Yeah. His sombrero. Pretty much. It's not a sombrero. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you next week on the Kalisha Show. Thank you for tuning in tonight. See you next week. Oh, yeah.